Fine. Uh, at this stage in your footballing career, mm -hmm. uh, can you quite believe that you're within touching distance of another trophy? That's great. That's great, and uh, that's why I'm, I'm still here. You know, because I just want to keep uh, uh, winning trophies. You know, and uh, that will go through a very, very big game, definitely. How exciting is it to be involved in the squad at this time, having gone through the, the whole process this season? It's fantastic. Uh, the season has been up and down, you know, but at the end we play, this is the second final we're going to play, which is really important for a club like Liverpool, because uh, we want to play finals, we want to win trophies, you know, and when you get to that kind of stage, you know, all you have to do is just uh, give everything you got to bring back the middle. And there's still an important Premier League game to play as well. How difficult is it going to be for everybody to keep focused on what they have to do? No, it's very simple. You know, the most important game is the the next game. We'll uh, we are focused on that. We give everything we go to finish the season very well because uh, there is point to get there, and that can change the season for us as well. And uh, and that's it. Hello again. Uh, Carlo, you've, you've already won plenty of medals in your playing career. Where would this one rank if you were to win the Europa League final? It's never enough. <laughs> you know, this one is really, really important, you know, because uh, uh, I played Champions League final and uh, I haven't won it. You know, and this, this, uh, this one is Europa League and uh, it means a lot, you know, for, for all the team, for, all the, for the club and for me as well. And, uh, of course, you know, we will do everything we got to, to try to get that, definitely. But when you talk about things that you've won as a collective for this team this season, bearing in mind the change of manager and everything it brought with it and the mm -hmm. European campaign, how special would it be to, to, to win it next week in, in Basel? Of course, you know, it's just been, uh, uh, like I said, up and downs, you know, and uh, change of the manager, you know, new philosophy coming, you know, and uh, we had to adapt to that. And I think we did that quite well, and uh, it wasn't that it wasn't that difficult because, uh, uh, like the manager said, we have a good uh, squad, uh, fantastic young players, you know, who love the game, fight every day. Training is great, you know, and uh, at the end we f we can we can grab that. It's going to be fantastic, but uh, you know we go f we go through a really tough journey, definitely. And there seems to be such a strong connection with the fans right now, and. It's your second cup final this season. Is there that motivation to make up for the defeat at Wembley earlier this year? We will use the, the defeat we had uh, against uh, Mon City because I think uh, 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 we didn't play really, really well against City, to be honest. I don't know why. Maybe, uh, like you said, it was the, our, our first final and then the, we felt the pressure a lot. But uh, I think uh, final, you just have to enjoy, give everything you got, and fight. You know, because uh, when you get to this, that stage, that means you're being giving everything you got, you're being doing everything right. But at the end, you will, uh, you will have one uh, uh, winner. And uh, if you give everything you got, at the end, you have no regret. Hi, Carlo. You've spoken already about it being an up and down season for the club, but for you as well, it has been. You think like, where you were at the start of the season, I mean, you didn't play, you play your first games in the Europa League, but you only played a couple up to October. Back, thinking back to then, would you have believed then that you would be in contention to be playing in the Europa League final? Sort of nine uh, the line? You know, of course, you know, uh, competition is very tough. You know, we have uh, fantastic defenders, you know, but for me, like I always say, you know, if you look at Every, every time when I speak, I just always believe, you know, I give on those person working hard every day, you know, and I know in the season, there is eight players, there is three things who can happen, and the most important, you have to get ready, you know, as a player, as a professional player, you know, for me, it's very important that I keep my shape and work hard, and whenever the manager needs me, I just step, uh, step out and try to do the best for the team do the best for the club, that's the most important for me. Carlo, hi. As, as one of the most experienced players in the team, do you feel you've got a particular role as well in terms of the experience that you, you can bring and, and the effect you can have on the other players? Yeah, of course, you know, when, 
when uh, you've been for so long in the football uh, game, you know, of course, you, you have a little bit of experience, but uh, experience is not everything, you know. I think in this team, we have uh, some really talented young players, you know, and, uh, and they are really, really good players as well. And uh, if you have, you have a player like uh, Philippe Coutinho, he's a top player as well, playing for Brazil, been to the club for a long time. Uh, Lucas Silva, there is few really experienced players as well, James Milner, you know, and I just try to bring what I can to the team, but uh, we are lucky that we have few really experienced players in the team, definitely. You've become a real favourite with the Liverpool fans, Colo. How much do you want to win it for them? <laughs> you meet a lot for me. You know, every club where I've been, you know, I won the trophy, you know, and uh, I want to do the same for Liverpool, you know, and... Uh, for the fans, you know, we have a special relation. I thank them every day for that, you know, and I really enjoy every day uh, I'm here. And uh, this game is going to be massive, and uh, we will give everything we got, you know, to, to try to make them happy. Carlo, can you, can you sum up the impact that Jurgen's had in his, in his few months in charge? And is, it, is he an inspirational coach to play for? He's a top manager. <laughs> He's a top manager. He's very. <coughs> Very experienced, you know, he's been doing a great uh, job with uh, Dortmund, with some young players, and uh, he's doing the same here, you know, and the future is really bright at Liverpool, definitely. Colo, the um, big games are often decided by small margins. Already we've had a semi-final and a final decided by penalties for Liverpool this season. Mm. Um, how much time are the players putting into practising them in the run-up to the final? And um, Do you fancy one yourself? I think you had a famous <laughs> one for the Ivory Coast. <coughs> you know, it's, um, of course, we, we, we think about that, you know, and uh, we've been, uh, I've been practising my penalties differently. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the decision is, is took by, by the managers, and uh, they know best, you know, of course, as an experienced player, when, uh, when time comes, you have to make the decision, you know, to, to take or no, you know, and uh, we will see what, uh, what happens. But uh, we have really technical players in the team. And like I said, you know, uh, sometimes you go through tough time to have a better time. Against City, it was a tough time, and, uh, and we will learn from that as a team. And on the day we will make the decision for, for the penalties or if anything. But maybe we will not, we will not get that. <laughs> no. And even after all the big games you've played in your career, how do you think you'll feel in the dressing room in Basel on Wednesday night? Do you still get nervous before a big game? Is that a good sign for you or are you very much laid back? No, I think, uh, to be honest, uh, when you get to that kind of uh, stage, you know, just, uh, I just try to enjoy the time as much as possible, you know, because as in, in your career, there is, like I was saying to the guys last time, you know, you play 15 years, I play 15 years of, of my career, and uh, you don't get in that kind of situation really often, you know, and uh, this is my, my second time, if I can say, in Europe. You know, that show is really, really tough. Of, uh, I've been playing for top cross, but to get the final of, of Europa League is really, really tough. And you need to enjoy that. Give everything you got on the day. Enjoy the journey because you will remember this journey for all your years. And uh, people will talk about that at the end of your career. Your kids will talk about that. You know, even people who didn't see, uh, saw you play, they will talk about that. And you, you, you need to really, really to enjoy that. And that's what I'm, I will try to do. And that's what I will try to tell my, uh, the, the young players. Defender. Hello, Carlo. It's Michael from the German Sportbild. Um, do you think that uh, Jürgen Klopp has all the qualities to, to have a long career and successful career like your former coach at Arsenal, Arsene Wenger, has? Oh, for, of course. Of course, he is very intelligent manager. Um, of course, when you see him on the pitch, like he's really expressive on the pitch, but uh, he's very, very calm, very intelligent. Half time, you always like uh, analyze the game unbelievably, you know. And I'm very, very impressed with the way he cope with uh, all the players. He's managing the team very, very well. Even uh, the staff, everybody's really, really happy. 
and I think uh, that's what uh, you know top manager does to keep the job for a long time and he's doing that and I won't be surprised that he stay for as long as possible. What do you like the most on him? Um, he's very, very intelligent. He's very, very intelligent. Kola, you've got experience of ending a trophy drought with Ivory Coast. You know all the emotions involved mm. with that, the relief of doing it. How much would it mean to you to replicate that, the African Nations Cup win with Liverpool in the Europa League final? Uh, like I said, everywhere I've been, you know, I've been winning uh, trophies, you know, and I want to do the same here, you know, and uh, it will mean for me a lot, especially for Liverpool, because uh, the relationship I have with the fans is amazing. You know, uh, and uh, I love to win, and I, I love to to do my best and give everything I got to to help my uh, my club to win, and that's what we try to do, definitely. And then Simon Minule said after the defeat to Manchester City in the uh, League Cup final, you got everyone together and you were saying to them, "Listen, I I know it's disappointing to lose today, but sometimes it's." it helps to know what it feels like to lose a final because then you know when the next one comes around you don't you keep that feeling and you mm. use it for the final so how much do you think that game earlier in the season is going to play a part yeah like i said you know uh, we had a difficult time you know we lost and uh, when you lose like that in the final you don't want to do it again and i know that uh, every player will be ready and give everything we go you know to try to win the game definitely you know only God knows, and I hope, inshallah, you know, it's going to be Liverpool we're going to win, definitely. Tony. Kolo, go, going back a few months, you had probably Sacco, Lovren, Skirtle, maybe even Lucas playing centre-back. Did you, did you think then your, your chance of playing big games for Liverpool are gone, or did you always believe? I always believe. I always believe in uh, Ami Sevens, you know, and when you play for a club, you have to think about the bigger picture, you have to think about the, the club, the team, and I'm a team player, you know, for me, the manager will decide who's going to play the game, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to play, nobody knows, but the most important, we all want to win as a team and as a club, and that's the most important, everybody happy at the end, that's the most important. Just going back to the, the Chelsea game, you had a, a run up the left wing, which, which the crowd obviously loved, have you, have you ever enjoyed your football more than you are now? Uh, you know, when you get experience, you can you can uh, analyze and you can anticipate things. You know, but still, you know, there is uh, things that you you can't do much on them because the game is, is is fantastic. Young players coming, you know, playing very very well. But definitely, I'm enjoying my football very very much, and I hope to keep doing that as long as possible because I love football. <laughs> James. Polo, if you, if you do play in the final, do you think that will be your final appearance for this club? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, the most important for me is to win. You know, and, and uh, if we can win that, uh, that game and that trophy, I'll be really, really happy. That's the most important for me. I don't think about anything else. And, and if, if this is reaching the end of your three years here, how will you look back on your time at Liverpool? Uh, I don't want to talk about that right now <laughs> because I'm, for me, it's not finished and uh, there's a big, big game coming. I'm really looking forward to it and uh, that's the most important for me. Carlo, we've been speaking a lot about young players in the squad. Emre Chan winning Young Player of the Year. What would you say of his development this season? You know, when he came, you know, and I saw him, I was talking to him a few times and uh, I knew this guy could, uh, could fit uh, uh, Steven Gera, you know, because he's a, he's a really, really good player. You know, and I think uh, the game against Villarreal, we played, I think it made a massive difference, you know, because he was the one who just uh, uh, started the game from the back from us because the two strikers was blocking me and Dejan, and Emil was always coming, taking the ball and just uh, stacked uh, all the action of the game. He's a great, great player, very, very intelligent, very fit, uh, good technically. You know, he can run very well with the ball and pass uh, any player. 
and I think uh, he's a really, really, really good player. And uh, for me, you know, we receive a lot coming from him, definitely.